many users really prefer Google Forms over Microsoft Forms. Of course, there are several reasons for that. But if you're in a situation wherein you're somewhat forced to move to MS Forms because your company or agency is now utilizing the Microsoft Office 365 product, then MS Forms would be something you need to be familiar with. Generally, MS Forms and Google Forms don't really differ that much. There are some differences in terms of the user interface, but you won't need a high learning curve for that. But did you know that some features of MS Forms make it quite unique compared with Google Forms? And today, I'm going to show you that, so stick around. This is Sorowens of ISF Media, and welcome back to Educ Nation, Educating the Nation. Microsoft Forms have a wide array of themes that I found to be very appealing. Apart from the standard themes that we typically see in other platforms, MS Forms have this video theme. So let's head over to office.com and sign in. Head over to the left panel bar and click on Apps. Under the Productivity section, you can find Forms and click on it. You can choose to make a quiz or make a form right here. I'll just use new form. Just below your account name, you'll see the theme option. Click on it, and MS Forms will provide you with different suggestions on what possible theme idea you could use. For every theme available, there's a play icon on the lower left, which is a video-based theme just like this one. So let's check it out. The video theme will automatically play on the background of your form. You can also check its preview right here if you want. How about testing another video theme? Let's go back to the theme option right here, click on more theme ideas, and maybe something suitable for teaching. This looks great. Quite suited for me since I'm in the Department of Education. Another cool feature of MS Forms that I use is to use images as an option. Just like when I wanted to consolidate all the performance results of the teaching and non-teaching personnel in our district, I wanted to classify each submission according to their affiliated school. So, instead of just having my multiple choices as the names of each school, I opted to use their school logos. Let me put a name for this form first. And I'll click on Add New to start making a question. Choose Choice right here, and there's the question template. Let's say, select the school you are affiliated with. Of course, you can also format the text of this question to bold, underline, and so on. Let's put the name of the schools right here in our options bar. On the rightmost part of this box, you can see there are three options to add your image. You can insert, paste, or drag. Let's click on it first, and there's three ways to add it right here. If you have pictures in your OneDrive account, you can select it right here which I currently don't have one. You can also upload, or you can choose to search the internet via image search right here. But since I have pictures prepared already, I'll choose on the upload option. I'll look for the image or logo of this particular school and double click on it. And there you go image is immediately placed right there. We'll repeat this process till we get about four images right here. Let's see how it looks in the preview option. Isn't that cool? Another thing I found to be very useful in MS Forms is the fact that their supposed share option is managed under one user interface window. Let me show you. Here in our MS Form, 
you can find the collect response button on the upper right hand side of the page. When you click on it, a pop-up window will immediately appear. If you notice, the responses settings are already here along with the share settings too. You can choose to set your MS form to be available for everyone by choosing the anyone can respond option. Or you can only set it to exclusively within your organization by choosing the next option, which in my case would be anyone within the Department of Education. Or you can just specifically choose people to access this form by choosing the third option and sharing the link which is available right below. You can also shorten the link URL right here by ticking this box and share them this shortened link immediately. On the right side of the window, the form can also be sent using your MS Outlook via email or even by directly sharing it with your MS Teams, in case you have an MS team set up for your group or personal or whatever. Just type the name of that group you have in your MS Teams right here or maybe your channel and click send right away. Others would also prefer to have it on a QR code which Microsoft already prepared for you right here. That way, everyone can just easily scan the code and redirect them to the form immediately. If you have a website or maybe you're using a forum-based web page, the embedded codes are also available right here. Just click the copy button and paste it on your website or your forum thread. Microsoft also announced that anytime this month or next month, MS Forms will also have a background music option that can be available in your form. That will mean that your users will be able to hear your choice of music as they fill out your form. Isn't that amazing? Now your users won't get bored when filling out your very long form. This is also great if you have students who like to listen to music while taking a quiz or answering a paper. Now they don't have a reason to latch onto their earphones. Huh. And finally, Microsoft already created a wide variety of options if you're trying to create a new form. The Explore Templates area under the Forms Gallery can provide you with a number of options you can choose from. You can also click the View All right here and see what possible templates you would like to use that would be suitable for your plan. So those are 5 features of Microsoft Forms that are already made available for everyone. What do you think of these features? Please let us know by sharing your comments down below. That's it for today and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe here in our channel and don't forget to click on that notification bell to keep you updated with our latest videos. Send us some likes and shares so that you can help others too. This is Sir Wed of ISF Media telling you to always keep things simple, efficient, and ambitious. Till next time, see ya! Is the fact that their supposed share option is managed under one user face window. Blah. Another thing I found to be very useful in MS Forms is the fact that their supposed share option is managed under one user face interface. Post share option is managed under one user face user face. If you notice the responses settings, if you notice the responses settings are already here along with the shared chat. Others would also prefer Others would also prefer to have it in a, Others would also prefer Others would also prefer Others would also prefer to have it on an on a keyword. Others would also prefer